nicer copy of this book to set a world record for the most money ever paid for a comic. A lot of people are covering this story at a surface level. Not here. We're going to take a deep dive into the history of the world's priciest comic books. On September 9, 2021, when the hammer dropped at Harry's, this copy of Amazing Fantasy number 15, which is the first appearance of Spider-Man, sold for an astonishing $3.6 million, which edged out a recent sale of Action 1, the first appearance of Superman, that sold for $3.25 million just a few months before. But there's so much more to this story than commas followed by a bunch of zeros. In this video, I'll address the following questions. What is the background of the priciest comic books of all time? Why was this copy worth $3.6 million? Given this recent sale, is the first Spider-Man generally worth more than the first Superman? And what other particular books might challenge the world record? For context, I'm going to cover some foundational information. If you're an experienced collector of comic books, you may want to skip to the next section. Three factors contribute to the pricing of comic books. They are notability, rarity, and condition. Notability has to do with what special happened in a particular issue of a book. Perhaps it was a first appearance or maybe it's a great cover. Next is rarity. Typically speaking, the older the book, the rarer it will be. And all other things being equal, a rare book will cost more than a common book. And last is condition. Comic books are rated on a scale from 0.5 to 10. A 0.5 is basically a reg of a comic book that has pieces missing. On the other hand, a 10 is a perfect copy. Books that grade higher are also worth more. All the books that we're going to talk about, these books that have broken records at one point or another, have all these three factors in space. Comic books are often divided into five ages, modern, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Among these, most of the big money books are in the silver and golden ages. The major silver age keys typically cost 12 cents, and they're the inspiration for much of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we enjoy today. Among them, AF-15 has long been the most valuable. Nevertheless, the books that have fetched the most money have traditionally been the golden age keys. These are the books that have ushered in superheroes into our worldwide culture. These funny books originally cost 10 cents. Further, these books are far rarer than the Silver Age keys. For example, for every one copy of Detective Comics number 27, the first Batman, there are about 50 copies of Amazing Fantasy number 15. Among these Golden Age giants, one has stood above all others. Action Comics number one has long been considered to be the most valuable book in the hobby. Not surprisingly, different copies of this book have claimed the highest sale to date. However, another book breaks through from time to time. Let's take a journey through history. We'll check out each book that set the all-time sales record for its time. Before we get started, let me share a few notes about methodology. It's not until 2010 that it's easy to figure out which book broke the record. For early sales, I've leaned heavily on Rob Larson's site. Over the years, he's dutifully consulted experts to figure out what high-end books are out there, when they sold, and for what price. Please check out his website. I've listed the link in the description box below. Before 1980, I couldn't find any official records of sales. Nevertheless, the first Overstreet price guide from 1970 lists a high-grade copy of Action 1 for $300. The second most valuable book was Detective Comics number 27, coming in at $275. Although these weren't actual sales, it does give you a sense that the most valuable books back in 1970 were selling for three figures. Let's roll. Moving on to 1980, there's a record of an Action 1 copy selling for $6,000. In 1984, All-American 16, the first appearance of Green Lantern, sold for 9 k The same year, Batman 1 sold for 12000 In 1990, there's a huge jump. A near-perfect copy of Marvel 1 sold for $108,000, the first record of a book eclipsing six figures. In 1994, Tech 27 sold for $125,000. In 1995, Action 1 is back at $150K. The same year, Wiz 2, the first Captain Marvel appearance, hits $176,000. And in 2001, Captain America Comics number one exceeds a quarter million dollars. Later that year, it's edged out by another copy of Tech 27. In 2003, Marvel Comics one strikes back with a private sale of 350K. Starting in 2010, things get wild and the prices jump up dramatically. In February of 2010, a buyer made sure that Action One captures the throne once again, but this time it costs seven digits, a cool $1 million even. Just three days later, a Batman fan decided that Superman was getting too cocky and bought a copy of Tech 27 for 75K more. About a month later, Action 1 once again was on top at $1.5 million. Wow, in five weeks, the record was broken three times. In 2011, AF 15 sent a warning shot to the other big boys. It didn't break the record, but it did sell for over a million dollars. That same year, another copy of Action 1 broke through the $2 million barrier. Fast forward to 2014, Action 1 rises yet again, and this time for over 3 million a record that would stand for seven years. 
It was barely eclipsed in April 2021 at $3.25 million by yet again another Action 1. And finally, that brings us to the most recent record, September 21, the $3.6 million sale of Amazing Fantasy 15. It's special because it's the first time that AF-15 has captured the throne, and it's also the first time that any Silver Age book has been on top. Some of you might be thinking, I've seen copies of AF-15 on the internet for 15, 20, 25, or 30K. Why does this book cost 100 times more than those? It's all about condition. Recall that comic books are graded on a scale from 0.5 to 10, and as the grade goes up, so does the price. And at about 6.5, the price shoots up exponentially as the grades go higher. In this case, a 9.6 represents the highest grade ever assigned to an Amazing Fantasy 15. Only four have been graded at this nosebleed level. In other words, it's exceptionally rare in this condition. Some of you may think that this is the death of Superman because Spider-Man has taken the mantle of highest sale. Not so fast, Webcrawler. There's a difference between one copy of a book achieving the highest sale and a book being the most valuable in the hobby. Here's a side-by-side -side of AF-15 prices versus Action 1 prices at various grades. There's no comparison. Grade for grade, Action 1 sells for multiples of AF-15, which brings me back to the all-time sales record. Recall that the record-breaking AF-15 is a 9.6. It barely squeaked by an 8.5 copy of Action 1. That might be all she wrote if the highest copy of Action 1 was an 8.5 but there are nicer copies out there. Make no mistake about it, that 9.6 copy of AF-15 is a world-class book, one of the most coveted in all the hobby. That said, there are a handful of books that if they went up for auction tomorrow, would almost undoubtedly sell for higher. I'm gonna talk about those books first, and then talk about a few others that have a shot at also breaking 3.6 million. Speculation alert, it is so hard to predict how much money somebody will pay for a comic book. But if history is a guide, these are the books that would likely exceed 3.6 million by quite a margin. First up are the two copies of Action Comics number one that sit atop a CGC census at a 9.0. Each one of them has broken the all-time sales record at different times in the past. If they were to go up for auction tomorrow, my guess is that they would sell for between 4.5 and $6 million. Experts believe that there's another really nice copy of Action 1 that's out there. It's believed to be nicer than the other two copies of 9.0. They believe it will grade between a 9.2 and a 9.6. It's from the Mile High Edgar Church Collection. Many people, including myself, believe this is the single most valuable comic book in all the world. The Mona Lisa of comics, if you will. If this went for auction, it's hard to know what it would sell for, but my thinking is that it could break the $10 million barrier. There's only one book that's close to going toe for toe, gray for gray with Action Comics number one, and that's Detective Comics number 27. And there are at least two copies that would blow by the $3.6 million bar. The first is a 9.2 copy of Tech 27 that's officially on the CGC census. If this book went up for auction, it would likely fetch $5 million plus. There's also a raw copy that's believed to be a 9.4 or 9.6. It's the Allentown copy. If that book were to sell, it would likely be between that $5 million and $10 million. In fact, that's the only other book that might have a legitimate shot of being the single most valuable book in all the world. Next up are the competitors. These are the books that I believe that are in the same ballpark as the AF-15 9.6, and if they were to sell, would be somewhere in that $3.6 million range. First up are the three other copies of AF-15 and 9.6. Next is the blistering copy of Captain America Comics number one. It's a CGC 9.8. That's the only major Golden Age Grail that has a book in that 9.8 category. Then there's that raw copy of Marvel Comics number one that would likely grade out at a 9.6 or 9.8. It broke the record way back in the day. Maybe it would reclaim the title. Then there's also high grade raw copies of Superman number one and Batman number one. They would also stand a chance. Last, let me give a shout out to the Silver Age. There are two 9.8 copies of X-Men number one. Would they have a chance of competing against an AF-15 at a 9.6? I don't think they would, but it would be interesting if they went up for auction. Spider-Man, congratulations for making it to the top. But watch out. I don't think this record is going to last very long. There is some stiff competition out there, especially among the Golden Age giants. And everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Keston. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. Hope to see you around real soon.